All right, good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a great morning. Um, welcome to the Living on Campus virtual session. Um, I'm Sarah Jean Gilbert. I'm Associate Director of Admission, and we are really glad that you're able to join us today. Presenting on this morning's topic, we have Jenny Schumacher, who's Executive Director of Residential Life and Campus Safety, as well as Demetrius Brown, who's Residential Life Coordinator. Uh, we also have a few student um, hall directors who are able to give you a little bit of information about what their experience has been like. During this presentation, we'll be talking about what it's like living on campus at Illinois College, the community that forms in the residence halls, and I'm sure much more. You'll also be hearing from current students, as I said, about their experiences living in the IC residence community. We will open up for questions after the presentation, and you can use the chat feature that is located at the bottom of your screen to ask those questions. Um, please take a second now to make sure that your microphone is muted and so that we can eliminate some of that background noise as much as possible. Also, this session is being recorded and we plan to post that recording on our campus visit page at www.ic.edu slash visit. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Hello everyone, I'm uh, Denny Schumacher. I'm the Executive Director of Res Life and, Pub and uh, Campus Safety. Um, with us we have a couple other individuals that um, I'll let them introduce themselves. Uh, I just want to go over a little bit of the residence halls that we have on campus. Uh, we have different styles of residence halls. Uh, we have those that are kind of traditional community restroom style halls. We also have some suite style um, halls which are Lincoln and Green. And then as you move up within our system, you have some apartments and houses that you could qualify to live in as well. Throughout the session, as, as Sarah said, if you could um, write in some questions um, that you have, uh, we can certainly get those answered along the way. As other people are talking, I'll, I'll um, answer as many of those that I, that I can. Um, some of you have already started filling out housing application for the fall, and some of you may still be in that process, and that is fine. Uh, those are kind of rolling applications, but the sooner you get that filled out, the better it is for you as well. We do look at those dates when we start our room assignment process this summer. Uh, we will not start room assignments until uh, the end of June. Uh, early July after uh, we've had our different registration sessions. Now, obviously, there's some unknowns with that yet, exactly how all that's going to play out, but uh, we are still looking at doing that room assignments at that same time. Um, so please make sure that you have that filled out. If you have a roommate request, please fill out on the left-hand side. It says roommate group. Uh, once your roommate has, your potential roommate has applied, you'll be able to select them as a potential roommate. Uh, so make sure that you do that. If you have any other applications on your application or any questions on your application, please contact your uh, admission counselor or our office. All right, so I want to turn it over to let Demetrius tell a little bit about some programming in the residence halls, and then he'll turn it over to our uh, couple of our students. Hello, I'm Demetrius Brown. Um, over the we have residential halls and we have the houses as Danny has mentioned before and each hall has a hall director and there's a RA on each individual floor so we want to create that home feel that community to make sure that you get involved with your floor with your hall so we have programmings that are available so sometimes it may be just getting a snack or either a lot of them love to paint um, paint rocks are the you know the one that a lot of them love the most so it's just making sure that you do get out um, on your floor to make sure you get involved with those um with those community things that we do have available so they also have door decks to make sure that your door is decorative while you're here on campus and so that you know you can express your individuality and um, also as far as the houses go, uh, we have um, a house manager for our south houses. And then we have another house manager that um, goes for the houses in the north with also the apartments. So we try to still do um, programming with those also, even though they are spread out. Um, I do come and visit once a month to you know just check up on you and make sure that everything is okay. Um, make sure that, you know, if you have any issues in the house as far as need work orders put in, you know, that can be um, done also. 
So anything that, of course, if you have any ideas as far as socials that you would like for your RA, you know, just make sure that you always reach out and keep in contact with your RA and just suggest those. And, you know, it's about building the community. So I'm um, hand it over to Carly. Um, she is going to be one of our hall directors for the 2021 um, school year. Um, hi everyone, my name is Carly Schwederski. Um, I'm currently an RA for um, Ellis Hall, and then I'm going to be the HD for the 2020-2021 school year in Ellis and Fay. Um, I'm currently a sophomore and I'm just super excited to take on um, the new position that I have, um, and I can't wait to just build a community um, in both of my buildings that I have. I don't know if Ab wants to say anything. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Ebenezer, and uh, I'm currently a junior, and I am an RA in Turner Hall right now, and I'm going to be a hall director in Turner Hall next year. Um, I'm, I'm an international student, and I've been here for about three years and or so. Um, and I'm a computer science major and finance, double major in finance and computer science as well. So uh, basically what um, we do as RAs right now is building a community in, in the halls. Uh, we have a couple, a lot of socials as Demetrius mentioned earlier. And also we have some like built-in boards and some interactive ideas that we do. Um, and also we're there for you whenever you need to talk to somebody, uh, just stop by our door, our door is mostly open for everyone on campus, but mainly on our floor. But so we're just there for you guys to be guidance and someone to talk to as well on, to help the transition from home to another home here. Yeah, and I also um, just wanted to mention, like I have like an a, like an, a unique experience here coming to IC. Um, I was a transfer student my second semester of my freshman year, so um, just kind of like coming in and like seeing different things i was kind of like open to like getting the ra position um and it's something that like i didn't really ever think about and so like it's kind of just changed how i see ic and like how like just all the like i can see so many different things to ic like especially since also like i've had the unique experience of having a family member work there so like i've also seen just a bunch of different sides and i think like my experience like it has helped me to like understand more of like the side of like what an RA is supposed to do and like how that how much they help um especially like transferring in I had a, a great RA that helped me um kind of like get acclimated and everything and like that's just like what we're here to help you like to, we're here to help you and can answer any questions that you have yeah in addition to that um like when when I started going to school at IC I barely knew like I knew not nobody at all like I know nobody at all. And then I started building my relationship with my RA and then he helped me try to meet other, other people. And then that's how I built the, like the community was built. So now I have a lot of more friends that I used to freshman year just because I just connected with my RA and then that like built up and then that's how it worked. And uh, One thing that we focus on here and we talk to our, all of our staff members um, is we really try to build this to be a home away from home. Um, we want you to feel comfortable here. We know the more comfortable you are, the more successful you will be academically. Uh, we are definitely not trying to replace anything at home, but we are trying to make it where you feel comfortable enough. Um, every student comes with a different experience, a different background, and we're trying to you know, help those individuals to adjust to campus life uh, provide the resources needed to be successful as a student here uh, and build some of those relationships. And as you heard from Carly and, and Ebenezer, that, you know, they both came in with different experiences, you know, but living on campus, being around other people, help them adjust to what it's like being at Illinois College, uh, which is a lot different, um, you know, living on campus than if you were off campus, you know, community net. Sarah, I don't know if there's any questions. I haven't seen anything pop up yet, but if there's anything that we can, um, any of us can answer for the students. Um, yeah, I think just a little bit more about what it is like to live in the residence halls and what it's like to have a roommate and how to adjust. I think that's probably the main question that we get from a lot of students. Okay. Uh, and I'll turn this back over to Carly and Ebenezer. Uh, maybe you guys could go over some of your experiences 
um, that you had. Um, and Carly, I know yours was different because of the, you know, transferring in the middle of the semester and how was that different? And, you know, Ebenezer, you know, as an international student, what's that like coming in and, um, you know, adjusting? So if you guys could explain a little bit about that, that'd be helpful. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, so uh, for me, it was very uh, new experience. I never shared a room with anybody else before. So uh, except my brother, which was like a long time ago. So when I came into here, I was kind of nervous, like how it's gonna be, and I didn't know him, but I just emailed him before so that I could get to know him a little bit more. So we started talking over the email and then we exchanged phones and started texting. And then once I came here, uh, it was very, unexpected thing that happened it was very nice there his parents were very welcoming and we started to be uh, kind of friends but also like as a roommates we had like boundaries and stuff so it was a pretty good experience for me to know that uh living with somebody is kind of like i thought it was going to be very hard but it wasn't that hard um i just have to know some boundaries and creating like the middle ground for everyone so that uh we can be living in a good situation in there yeah like i agree with that like it it was like a change especially like coming from somewhere like having my own room um but like the whole like like having to share a bathroom wasn't really like a big thing for me um because i don't have my own at home so like but it, it is it does take, take some time to like get used to like make sure you your floor will kind of like understand like once you like kind of get into like a, a groove of going the same time it's kind of hard it's so like through the semester like you start to learn like like the way that the floor kind of works together and then like once that works like everyone just kind of like comes together in like a community sense and like like Denny said with like my experience as a transfer student like everyone was so welcoming to me and like made sure that I like felt like I was at home and then I had like any questions I had were always answered and like they just wanted to make sure that I stayed here and that I felt comfortable here and like I think having a roommate when I when I came here, they tried to place you in one that but we talked them out together and like figured them out, figured them pretty nice. Uh, okay, thank you guys um, both for that. Uh, there's a few questions that have popped up that might be easy just to answer this way rather than typing them in. Um, everyone can hear it. I don't know if everyone has the chat open, so I'll read the questions and then answer them if that's all right. Uh, one question has to do with the meal plan. Uh, what different meal plans do we have available? Uh, when You will select your meal plan after um, or during the process of, of room assignment. So all new students are actually going to get assigned uh, what is our 19 uh, block plan. And that is 19 meals per week. So you have the availability to use 19 different meals in the course of a, of a week. And then every week those will be added to uh, 19 more. That also has some flex dollars attached to it as well. Now that's just your initial setting. If you want to change off of that meal plan, you certainly can. Uh, another block plan we have is uh, 15 meals per week, um, which has a, a few more flex dollars on it. Um, and the flex dollars can be used at, at Starbucks, um, which is where a lot of students use it to, to get their coffee or you know, small something small for breakfast. Um, two other or three other meal plans we have is an unlimited meal plan. And really that is what it states is you can go into the dining hall any number of times during the day. You're not limited based on the on the entries that you go in. And sometimes people go in just for coffee and a in a Danish or something uh, for breakfast, and then you know that uses one of their meals, but it's truly an unlimited option. There is a little higher cost for that compared to the others, um, but that is a, a nice option for students as well. Uh, two others are a uh, 175 block plan that we have and a 225, and that means you have that many meals to use anytime throughout the semester. So you could use, you know, um, it can vary based on the week of um, how busy your week is and what you're doing of how many meals you use each week. It's not limited to a certain amount, um, but that is limited to, to the amount for the semester. Anyhow, so after your assignment's made, you'll have the 19. You can go, you'll have the opportunity to go on and, and make a change to one of those other meal plans if you would like. Another question 
has to do with the roommate selection process. Um, do you get to pick and reach, uh, reach out uh, once you fill the housing application? You have two options with the roommate selection. One, if you know of someone or you meet someone through kind of the virtual uh, roommate selection process we have in, in Eva's Life, um, which is our housing software, um, if you find someone that you want, you would go over again on the left-hand side of the screen where it says roommate groups, and you would create a roommate group with yourself and the person that you would like to room with. If you do that, both of you will be assigned in the same room. Um, so that's one way. If you don't have someone that you're interested in, we will do an automatic uh, assignment and find someone for you uh, based on uh, the questions that you answer on your application. So that's the process on, on the roommate assignment, if you would like. Um, when applying for residential halls, how many should we select to put on our preferred residence? It, it doesn't matter. You know, I would say at least three uh, is, is good. Um, but you'll see that, you know, some buildings you would be less likely to get into. I know Lincoln is very popular. But for new students, realistically, there's not very many new students that get assigned into Lincoln. Uh, because a lot of our returning students will sign up for that when they go through their process here shortly. Um, so just keep that in mind. You can use it as a selection, um, but don't, you know, if you put that as your first choice, the likelihood of getting that is, is fairly slim. Uh, but feel free to choose others. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean you will automatically get your first choice, uh, but it, we definitely take that into consideration. We try to get you your first choice as much as we possibly can. Uh, but there's only so many beds in each building, so we have to um, limit that, obviously, where people go. Um, are students able to choose which hall? Oh, I just mentioned that. Um, so, yeah, yeah you, can, you can select your preference, and then we'll assign based on what's available at that time. So it's definitely important to put which preference you have in the building. Um, because we want to know, are you interested in our, our single gender residence hall of, of Pixley as female and Turner as male, or do you want a co-ed environment, which would be the other residence halls? Um, so just kind of in those co-ed or by floor. Uh, so if you're select like gardener, you know, um, every floor is, is its own gender. Um, so it's, it kind of just depends what type of environment you're interested in uh, will determine kind of how you do those preferences. So those are all the questions right now on the side. Are there any other questions or um, things people want to bring up? I think that covers the basics for sure. <laughs> I know it can be, um, I don't want it to be an, an overly stressful situation and I know selecting your residence hall and trying to figure out where you're going to live and who you're going to live with um, can can be a little bit stressful. I've got a couple of college age students at, in my house and you know it's something that I know you know people can get worked up about and so I'm just trying to try to ease your your fears on that and, and your patience of, of just you know we do the best we want you to be in a good um, living situation. Be honest on your application. You know we ask those questions for a reason. And we do match people up um, for that but I also ask you to be open-minded. Uh, that there are a lot of really good students here um, and, you know, be in place with someone that you don't know or from a different area that you're not familiar with, you can meet some amazing people um, that you maybe wouldn't have an experience with, you know, before. And so keep an open mind, you know, with that when you're assigned your roommate as well. Um, oh, a couple more questions coming in. Oh, I love this one. It's laundry free and cable TV. Uh, yes, they are both included. So um, now here's the here's the funny thing about laundry is if you don't know how to do laundry, please learn uh, while you're at home. Uh, you know, most of you are probably at home during um, during the situation that we're in right now. So now would be a great time to help your mom with the laundry. Uh, so learn how to do that. But it, yes, it is free here on campus. Uh, so all of our laundry rooms, no matter what building you're in, you have free laundry. Uh, cable TV is also free, and there's a couple other uh, video um, entertainment um, things you can use. We have a thing called IC Movies, uh, which is where we load movies, and as new as release as they've been 
um, you know, they're on DVD now. Uh, as soon as they are released, we can load them onto the site. Uh, so we try to get as many new releases posted as well. And again, that's free, so you don't have to go down to Redbox or uh, wherever and, and get that. Um, and you can just watch them free while you're on campus um, as well. Um, yes, so you'd asked if you could go um, into the halls once you're a sophomore. Um, that process is definitely different as a returning student. Now, you'll still fill out a housing application uh, like you do, like you're doing now. So that part is the same. However, what's the biggest difference is we run a process where during the course of a week, um, kind of based on your seniority, um, you go in and you sign up for the specific room that you want in a building. Kind of like signing up for classes. You know, you go online and you'll sign up for which classes you want. You go in and sign up for which room you want to live in. And that's the same thing you would pick which roommate if you've met someone over the course of the year you want to room with them the two of you would go in and sign up for that room so it's a quite a bit different process again if the if the room space is available in the suite style or the apartment or the house um, then you can sign up for it so it just it, it is definitely different than this first year um, and where you are selecting the the individual room that you want I hope that answers that question. And we know that people, you know, some people will get assigned a roommate their first year and they'll room with each other for the, all four years. Um, most of the time that doesn't happen. Um, where, you know, people, because you, you learn, you, you learn different people, you get um, used to different people, you meet them, you want to room with someone else, and that's totally fine. Um, some people come in with the expectation that your roommate is going to be your best friend. Yes, that can happen. Most of the time that does not. Um, but that doesn't mean you can't have a good roommate experience. And we want to make sure that, you know, if you're being respectful to them, they're being respectful to you, you use good communication skills. That's one of the things that, you know, Carly and Avenies are, you know, kind of alluded to that uh, we want to make sure that you are communicating with your roommate because that's usually where the issues come in is you're not willing to communicate if something's bothering you you need to talk to your roommate you know talk to them and say hey i i don't appreciate when this happens um so things can change if people don't know that they're doing something that is concerning you they're not going to change uh so keep that in mind um, practice that if you need to while you're at home um, but we want to make sure that you, know, you have as, as good a living experience as you can. Okay, great. Um, no more questions have come in. I know it's a popular topic, so thanks everybody for sending in questions. We really appreciate it. Um, that's going to be the end. It's going to kind of conclude our virtual se session here. Um, like I said, this definitely will be posted online in um, uh, on the visit website, so www.ic.edu slash visit. And um, so if you want to share it with your friends, please go ahead and do that. But also, um, thank you to our presenters and uh, thank you for everybody for participating. We'll talk to you sometime soon. Thank you. Oh, yeah. And then here's good. This is going to be the contact information for both Danny and Demetrius if you do have any additional questions. Um, and that should conclude our day. Thanks, everybody.